y'all? It's your girl Chef AZ here. Here that time I'm loading. You know that we are making some fried green tomatoes today, but with a twist. I want to change it up today. Um, fried green tomatoes is a staple in my southern part of my family. It's just something I grew up with. We used to go to the farm, pick our own green tomatoes, peel it in some really hot water, fry it up, and just have a good old time. So this is one of those recipes that I really wanted to recreate. Uh, as going vegan, I'm slowly but surely just remaking different things that were just a part of my childhood, a part of my upbringing. And this one is just something I kind of switched it up. I, I have never seen fried green tomatoes in this way before. So making this recipe was just so, I don't know, revolutionary for me, uh, just in my path and what I'm growing and what I'm learning to do, just trying different things with being vegan. Like it's always something fun to try. So I just thought, you know, why not share it in this in this way, in this format? I thought this would be the best way to share it. Um, just seeing it visually and seeing it all come together with me. So we're gonna get right on into it. I'm sure you guys everything we're gonna be needing. Um, this is a pretty affordable recipe. I think um, for fried green tomatoes, they're they're really cheap right now. They're in season. Um, I made them the vegan mayo from scratch. I'm gonna link that below. Um, spring roll wraps are usually usually pretty cheap I got them from an Asian market um, and that's what we're gonna be using to make our bacon today our thick our thick cut bacon uh, as I would call it but yeah everything is pretty simple pretty accessible to get um, and just pretty this is a 30 minute or less recipe but let's go ahead and get in this kitchen show you guys what we're gonna need today alrighty for today's recipe you all are gonna need some sliced up green tomatoes your choice of lettuce, I used green leaf lettuce, it's my absolute favorite. Um, also your choice of bread, I chose brown berry potato uh, burger buns, I'm going to link that below, uh, not sponsored. You're also going to need a flax egg that, I, egg that I made with 6 tablespoons of flax seed and I believe 1 half cup of water. And you're just going to let that firm up in the refrigerator for 10 to 20 minutes until it resembles a thick egg like yolk. You're also going to need some flour, breadcrumbs, paprika, pepper, and garlic powder. I'm going to link the measurements for that below. You're also going to need some cashew mayo that I made with, uh, I'm going to actually link that below, link the exact measurements for that. And for your rice paper bacon, we're going to be using some paprika, some garlic powder, liquid aminos, liquid smoke, your choice of vegetable oil, uh, maple syrup, coconut or coconut sugar, and some rice paper. Gather your ingredients and get in that kitchen. All right, first we're gonna be battering our green tomatoes. I like to start off with first dipping into the flour. Get it nicely coated. Then we're gonna dip into our flaxseed. I just like to make sure that it's evenly coated. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty. I mean, we're in the kitchen. The more battered, the better. Um, green tomatoes are just they just taste amazing staple food in my um, my family that lives in the south it's just like a piece of nostalgia for me
gonna repeat this process until you've used up all your batter and your green tomatoes. Now, if you run out of flaxseed, just add more flaxseed and water as you go. It won't hurt the mixture at all. Um, I ended up needing to add a little bit extra to finish off. Next, we're going to take those green tomatoes um, and I heated my oil on medium high heat and I will fry these for about six to eight minutes. You're just going to fry it so it's a nice golden brown color. nice golden brown right there I just drained mine on a single paper towel um, but yeah I flipped about halfway through for that as well next we're gonna make our rice paper fake and I use three um, pieces of rice paper you're gonna take that and run it under some water make sure you hold it together while you're running it under water so that it sticks together this is a very crucial step it ensures it just changes the texture and gives it um it makes it to where it can soak up your marinade sauce next you're going to slice it up into some strips um your make sure you use a, a either a chef grade knife or just like a nice a nicely sharp knife because it will be kind of hard to slice um, wet spring roll paper but we made it work you're gonna marinate this for about two minutes make sure it's evenly coated Just repeated this step until I used up all of my rice paper and you're gonna bake these strips on 400 for eight minutes or until it reaches a consistency of how you like your bacon next we're gonna assemble our sandwich I um, evenly toasted my bread by just adding a little bit of vegan butter um, and toasting it on a stove Next we're going to spread our mayo, I just evenly spread mine on each bun because like I said this cashew mayo tastes amazing, I mean the more you use the better. It tastes so much better than the processed cashew, I mean the processed mayo that I used to get. Um, just after discovering this recipe for mayo I just not turn back, like I'm going to use this forever. And like I said I'm going to link that below. Then we're going to add our green tomato, which looked amazing.
next are rice paper faking. I liked mine on a little bit of a soft side, so I baked mine for exactly eight minutes. Um, you're so welcome to bake yours for even more. I've seen some where it's very crispy, some where it's very soft. I like mine right in the middle. And voila! Look how beautiful that sandwich turned out. And enjoy! <laughs> And that's Chef Kiff signing off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in.